Friday, February 3rd, a board member reached out to one of our journalists and stated, quote, you get a raise if there is a restructure without James O'Keefe at Project Veritas. I have a copy of the text message and I'll give it to all of you. I redacted the name of the journalist. The board member deleted the message, but not before our journalist took screenshots. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy news, as you just seen. This uh, was James O'Keefe talking about him being removed or seeing, showing the text messages of what the board members of Project Veritas did to him in removing him from CEO. Uh, well, CEO and board member of his own company. This was a big thing happening yesterday, and I wanted to cover it yesterday as well, but I just didn't have the time. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was extremely, extremely tired, didn't have enough time to do it, so therefore, uh, I didn't do a lot of reporting, a lot of stuff like that. So that's part of the reason why some of the news did not get released and whatnot. I'm trying to get my sleep that I can, but there are days where I just can't sleep and it just sucks. But... Without further ado, and not really excuses from me, I will still need to work harder to make you guys prove that I am still working and getting things to you. And this is pretty much what's happening with Project Veritas and uh, what James O'Keefe is going to be doing in the near future. And it says us here that James O'Keefe from Project Veritas, after being placed on paid leave by the board, Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe is no longer with the company after being placed on paid leave by the board in earlier this month. There are currently conflicting reports about whether he resigned or was removed from the company that he founded in 2021, or 2011. Uh, ON reporter and Project Veritas alum Neil McCabe tweeted the news on Monday morning. O'Keefe, my friend and former boss at Project Veritas, just read his recitation letter to his former team and board members at their Man Rock, New York headquarters. McCabe wrote, James will make his own way as he, as, as he always has before. However, Project Veritas R.C. Maxwell soon replied that this was inaccurate and that the board removed O'Keefe. This is not accurate. James was, was removed from his position as CEO by the Project Veritas board. They are in charge now, Maxwell wrote. Uh, as Tim Gass News previously reported, a group of 16 Project Veritas employees asked a nonprofit board of directors earlier this month, asking them to remove O'Keefe in the letter exposing internal tensions within the organization. The under, under-resigned is troubled and frustrated with James' management style and business acumen, the letter began. These behaviors and actions are antithetical to our core values, and it came to, the, to, head, to a head this week, most recently the treatment of Barry Hankley and Tom O'Hara. So we all know about this stuff in the Project Veritas statement and what have you, and all this stuff that being attained. And what we, what I do know is that this is somewhat true in some cases. I may believe James O'Keefe made a statement on um, not particularly really doing too much with uh, Project Veritas in terms of uh, uh, what he's been saying here. Um, this was 16 hours, as he said, and pretty much saying this here, that uh, since it's already out there, here are my heartfelt remarks to my staff this morning. I need to make it clear I have not resigned from the company. Project Veritas, I, had, I founded 13 years ago. I was stripped of my position as CEO and chairman. I came to the PV office today to remove any personal belongings. If you're wondering what's next, stay tuned. And this will this will be an uh, ongoing story. Benny Johnson also did a cover on this. It says breaking James O'Keefe remarks to Project Veritas staff. I've been removed from CEO and board. And from what that one video, that part of the video that that I, that I showed you, here is the full video in context and showing what they really did to James O'Keefe. And then also his resignation later. Take a look. Friday, February 3rd, a board member reached out to one of our journalists and stated, quote, you get a raise if there is a restructure without James O'Keefe at Project Veritas. I have a copy of the text message and I'll give it to all of you. I redacted the name of the journalist. The board member deleted the message but not before our journalist took screenshots. Good job, journalist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> On Sunday, February 5th, now that's Sunday, two days after the Friday, a board member requested my presence at his home. He informed me, quote, you had nothing to do, James, with this Pfizer story, unquote. Perplexed by this, 
I took out my iPad and showed him a video of myself confronting the Pfizer executive, which had 11 million views on YouTube. He responded, quote, but that was after the undercover video had already been done. So there you have it. He was obviously being, uh, I guess, ousted and lied to in many ways. And I have a thing that uh, James O'Keefe will become back stronger than ever. I do not think that uh, uh, that any of this will be forever long because I believe that uh, Project Veritas is f firmly dead and they have done that themselves. The board has done that themselves. And if the board that thinks that this is, you know, the type of thing that they uh, that they really believe it is, then, well, they're sadly mistaken. Here's a full, another full video of him explaining him, explaining him this a little bit of backstory and the reason why he was kicked from Project Veritas, where he was not being removed, or, or he was not resign necessarily resigning, but removed from SEO and board. Take a look. In federal court. There were also discussions from a few staffers with donors in the boardroom. Donors were listening to some of this, and some of these were sent directly to donors without my consent. Donors who have no knowledge of my personal life and have no business asking questions about my personal life about girls I've dated in the past. A fundraising colleague relayed, and again, this is going to start getting really strange, but I'm this, this board meeting was video recorded. We'll get to that in a minute. A fundraising staffer relayed, quote, concerns about my behaviors regarding videos where I, quote, literally chased a Twitter executive around New York. By acclamation from all of you in 2022, that video about the Twitter chase was one of the most successful videos. But yet, your colleagues in a boardroom we're expressing concerns about it. Every board member previously communicated their love of that video, but none pushed back in that moment when the staffer criticized it. Why? The attacks were so severe against me personally in that boardroom. And again, this is all video recorded and I suggest that you ask for that. I will not provide that to you. This, it, the attacks were so severe that one board member asked, quote, is there anything James O'Keefe is good at? That's what your board member said. Oh, and by the way, this meeting was video recorded. I'm going to keep saying that. You may want to ask existing board members if they want to share that entire video with you. I suggest you request the entire seven hour or so video to see for yourself what actually happened. You don't have to have been there. You simply need to watch the video and hear all of the testimony. After the six hours, I was asked what I had to say for myself. I was given about 10 seconds to respond. And then I was dismissed. Then, and I'm reading from board minutes drafted by lawyers who are taking a record of what the board members said and did. A vote was called to strip me of all of my authority and decision making at this organization for half a year. That's 180 days. Again, it's in the board minutes. You'll have a copy of it. It says, quote, the CEO's ability to make these decisions suspended for 180 days with such power transferred to the executive director. The executive director reports to the board. The CEO is placed on leave for two weeks and the CEO's access to donors is restricted. So I can't talk to donors. I can't raise money. see. Okay. My first question before I was dismissed, I asked how the remaining team will manage the company and what the plan was. That's something you, you had said, what's the plan? But they didn't provide one. It was clear they didn't actually have one. And then I was dismissed. So there you have it. Forcefully kicked out of his own company, most likely going to end up starting a new in some other place, um, possibly with a different name. There's more to come. I'll be keeping up to date with this. And uh, yeah, crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. The 2023 is becoming to be a very wild and crazy year, and we're only we're still in the year of February. We're only two we're only two months in, guys. This this is we still got a lot more to come. 
Hopefully it really starts to cool down, but I don't see the steam and fire stopping anytime soon, so let's see where this takes us. I'll be here trying to report it and keep you guys up to date. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.